Do you let traumatic experiences hold you back and have power over your life? Well, after watching this video, you won't. I applaud you for making it through whatever you've made it through. And in this video, I'm going to, and in this video, I'm going to, and in this video, <laughs> and in this video, I'm going to explain how embracing your past can become your greatest asset. But before we dive in, let me tell you about this shocking theory called post-traumatic growth. Studies show that embracing your past, including the most painful parts, can significantly, can significantly improve your mental health. This process known as post-traumatic growth allows individuals to have a deeper appreciation for life and enhance their personal growth. So basically this is saying that when we embrace our past, especially the most painful moments, our mental health will improve. We will have a deeper appreciation for life and we'll be stronger. Wow, that's powerful. Okay, let's move on. There was a little girl. She was born in 1928. She had a difficult childhood and was sexually abused by her mother's boyfriend. When she told her family about it, the man that abused her later ended up dead. She believed that it was her fault and she believed that her words could kill. So she went mute for over five years. Yes, five years this little girl didn't speak one word. During that five years, she found a love for literature and writing. Instead of forgetting about her past and trying to bury it, she wrote about her experiences in her autobiography. That autobiography went on to become a bestseller, not only helping her heal, but also healing millions of people around the globe. That little girl's name was Maya, Maya Angelou. When you choose to not confront and embrace your past, you give it power over you and you let it win. Is that what you want? Do you want to let your past win or do you want to take your power back and win? When you speak about your past, it loses its power. When you speak about things you are ashamed of, they lose their power. It also has a domino effect because when you speak publicly about a traumatic event, it can give someone else the courage to do the same. So you could share your story one time and indirectly, it could go on to give thousands of people the strength to share theirs, period. It's all such amazing stuff. It's good. So you might be asking yourself, how can I speak on my past and take back control? I'm about to break down the best ways to do that from easiest and most comfortable to more challenging. The first way that you can uh, speak on your past and take back your control is by writing. You can start to write in a journal. You can start to write on a blog. You can start writing on platforms like Twitter, Facebook, and Reddit. The important thing is to just start. If writing is the outlet that you are going to choose, then just start writing. Start a Twitter account, start a Reddit account, and start to share your experience and your story in different groups. You would be completely amazed at what a consistent year of writing every day will do to your life. I'm actually doing that right now. The second way you can speak and share your story is on video. Video is so powerful because you can record one video, post it online, it could go viral and resonate with millions of people. Yes, you can make one video and it could change the lives of millions of people. And it's as easy as turning on your camera, on your cell phone, telling your story, sharing on some of your past experiences, and posting it to a platform like Instagram, YouTube, or Tiki Talking. And the third way that you can tell your story is in person. If you have gone through addiction, you can share your testimony in treatment centers, county jails, church. If you've went through abuse, you can share your story at women's shelters, jails, church. If you've went through traumatic things with your parents, you could speak at youth centers or other youth organizations, schools, learning centers. Your story needs to be told because it can help people. So I encourage you to embrace your past and start telling your story today. I hope this video helped you today. And if you want to hear more about my story and how I was able to beat heroin addiction, click this video here or here, it's somewhere. That was so much harder with you down here.